Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A ray of light passes from the air into a long glass plate of refractive index n at an angle theta. So it is hitting this uh, glass plate at an angle theta and obviously the light will now enter into the glass at the edge of the plate. The, the ray is incident on the internal surface of the glass plate. So later it is going and it is incident on the internal surface and the refracted ray travels along the external surface of the plate. So my dear students, this statement is really very confusing. They're calling this ray as refracted, but it is not refracted, you see. So this light, okay, if you even call it refraction, fine anyways. So it travels along the surface. So it means this ray is hitting at this junction. I'm just calling it J and this is the light, how it travels. So the first part of the question says that the light is coming from the air. It hits the surface at angle theta. It enters into glass and then it moves like this. But later it hits the internal surface of the glass and then it moves parallel. It moves along the surface. It moves along the surface. This is what is written here. Now, what changes to N? So what we should do in regards to the refractive index of the material or the theta will cause the ray to travel entirely within the plate after the incidence. So what we want is we want this thing to happen that the radiation should now bend and it should move into the glass. So what are the changes that you would be suggesting in the refractive index and in the angle theta? So the first problem in this question is understanding the statement, I would say, because it's quite confusing, okay, isn't it? Let us move for this now. Okay, so the changes in the refractive window, let us see. So at the junction J, let us concentrate here because we want things to happen here. So this will be taken as the incident angle. And if the incident angle becomes greater than the theta critical, as you know, becomes the condition of total internal reflection so that all the radiation that is coming it will get reflected back into the same medium so this incident angle should be greater than theta critical and um, how is theta critical found so in this case let us say I'm considering this and this radiation so the angle will be 90 degree this is the condition for total internal reflection also you can refer to the theory also in your book so the sine of theta critical is equal to 1 by the refractive index. I'm just using the formula now. According to this, you would be finding the theta critical. And the i is having some certain value here. So how can we make sure that the incidence angle is always greater than theta critical? So number one, the theta critical should have as possible, as minimum possible value as much as possible, isn't it? So we have to reduce the theta critical value. So theta critical is given by this. So reducing theta critical means reducing sine theta and reducing sine theta means increasing the refractive index. So first of all, if the refractive index of the medium is increased, the theta critical reduces even further. I can give you a very suitable example here so that things you can keep them in your mind. In the case of diamond, what happens? The light that enters into the diamond once is not able to get out of it. It just keeps on reflecting back into the diamond and that is why diamonds are so much sparkling. And the refractive index for the diamond is I believe 2.7 nearly. So you see this much high is the refractive index and you create a diamond. So obviously uh, you have to increase this thing and the theta critical in the case of diamond is 22 degree. So you want to go like that. Now, the second thing is, this is theta critical now. The second thing is changes to theta. So, is there any possible change to theta that we can bring in? Yes, of course, why not? So, if this theta is, uh, let us say, reduced. Um, I'm using the other color now. Let us say theta is reduced and it goes here. So, this will go like this. And you see this angle of incidence, it has reduced. So if it reduces and if it becomes equal to theta critical or something or lesser than theta critical, the light will refract outside. But we do not want it. So it means that this theta should not be reduced. Even this should be increased. So what will happen if this is increased? You see, if this is increased here, let us say now the theta is increased. 
like this so it will go like this so at this junction this angle incidence i is bigger is greater than this so that is why definitely uh, the tir the total internal reflection would be taking place so our answer is this increases as well as that increases so the answer comes out to be a let us see from the mark scheme whether the answer is a or not well yes the answer is a so my dear students this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel and that's all. All the best. Bye. I just forgot what to say.